About 100 nations have pledged to cut emissions of methane as part of efforts to contain global warming. The U.S. President Joe Biden told delegates at the U.N. Climate Conference on Tuesday. That number was up from nine nations that had signed on as of September, and that's according to Biden. Biden spelled out U.S. commitments to reduce its own methane emissions. He said approaching 100 nations we are signing on to the Global Methane Pledges. U.S. Climate Envoy John Kerry had earlier put the figure at more than 100 nations. Biden also unveiled a plan to splash emissions of the greenhouse gas methane from oil and gas operations. Together, we're committing to collectively reduce our methane by 30 percent by 2030, and I think we could probably go beyond that. We just announced this package at the General Assembly. Uh, and back in September, at the time, as mentioned, nine countries had signed on. Today, it's over 80. It's approaching 100 countries that are signing on. We're proposing two new rules, one through our Environmental Protection Agency that's going to reduce methane losses from new and existing oil and gas pipelines. In the spirit of COP26, we want to highlight the progress made so far and emphasize the importance of climate positive infrastructure development. Thus, if investing in transport, in energy and digital networks, we always have to make sure that it serves the planet and the people. And for that, we need to work with like-minded states, both in the context of G7 and G20. To keep 1.5 degrees in sight, to reach global net zero, and to protect vulnerable countries from the impacts of climate change means the development of new clean and green infrastructure. And this presents a huge opportunity to turn our struggle against climate change into a global mission, as President Biden has said, for jobs and growth. Our pursuit of global net zero can drive global leveling up helping developing economies fast-track their way to a more prosperous, clean and green future. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.